This is Film Club at the BAFTA Awards 2010. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Helena. And we're, and we're here at the BAFTA, Bafta Awards supporting the Film Club. Club. I love Meryl Streep. Can you, tell us what, can you tell us why you love her so much? What are your favourite films that she said? So we're here with Alison from this morning and Big Brother. Um, <laughs> just wondering, who would you like to win tonight? It's got to be George Clooney all the way, hasn't it? Well, the thing is, there's George Clooney and there's Colin Firth. Who should I be rooting for? The American or the English? Oh, all right. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The year started in 3D as Avatar literally flew off our screens. But even without the specs, the film industry has been far from flat. From South Africa, District 9 gave us an original take on the alien invasion. The Hurt Locker asks his questions closer to home. And Freshers will be hoping to be Freshers. While a small British film may give us all an education on how to win a BAFTA. How is it working with James Cameron? Uh, working with James Cameron is very exciting. It's a challenge, but I think what you learn in life is that people who challenge you, they actually make you better at what you do, and I think that's what Jim does. Writing for film is particularly tough because um, a script is not a finished thing. Um, scripts are no good to anyone unless they're made into films. So you need to be able to work with people, you need to be able to work with the director. What advice could you give to young people who'd like to be standing where you are today? Wear long johns for a start, because I'm freezing. What was your favourite film when you were growing up and why? Ooh. Oh, no, I wasn't expecting that. Um, well, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, because it was so beautifully filmed and very different. And so it had the old, old school romance and then the new, the new twist to it. Um, and a, a Wizard of Oz because of the fantasy and it's a little girl going off into a fantasy world and I always dreamed of that, hence me being an actress now. Probably Ken Loach's Kez, which is a beautiful film. It's a very tough film and a sad film, but I saw it when I was probably 12, 13. It made a huge impression on me. The thriller of the 70s, 60s, 70s, very nice. Like uh, Jean-Pierre Melville, his movie. Uh, or there is a lot of them. Good cinema, Claude Sauté. And, uh. Emma Thompson has done a new film, a new Nanny McPhee film, and Emma is so interesting and wise, so, and Maggie Gyllenhaal is in it, so that may be a good one. I'm not sure. I'm also a big fan of Shane Meadows, to, to tell you the truth. <laughs> My film, Shifty, like Game of <laughs> Shifty. I'd say Moon, yeah, I reckon Moon, because it's out of all the sort of British cinema we've got going on at the moment. It's one of those ones that's very aspirational. I'm so excited. No, it is really exciting, actually. Well, I'd like The Hurt Locker to win Best Film, obviously, and I'd like Catherine to win Best Act Director, so... What was it like working with Kerry Mulligan? It was actually wonderful. She's a terrific actress, you know, she's got everything going for her. I think she's, she's at the beginning of a, of a huge and wonderful career. I'm in Best Actress category, and... I, don't know, I, I mean, I know Kerry is nominated and Meryl and Audrey, I think, as well. I think, I don't know who's going to win, but I'd really like Kerry to win because she's from here. Could you tell us a bit about your new film, Eagle of the Night? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is the last movie of Kevin MacDonald, and I'm playing the baddie. Congratulations Thank on your you, nomination. Um, Precious really is fantastic. Um, could you tell us a bit about your journey to becoming the director? It was a long journey, but I'm here and I'm ready and I'm ready to take down Avatar. <laughs> so it was nice to put a nice dress on and be a bit fabulous. Did you have Carrie Mulligan originally in mind for the character Jenny? Carrie was always the best of, of the choices we had and it was just, it was a long selection procedure for Carrie to get this part, but it was always, the, she was always the one who I liked the most and, and she belongs in that film and the film would have been it wouldn't have gone this far without her. I think it's so nice because our film as a whole is nominated in so many categories and uh, so we're all, we all kind of had a reunion drink a minute ago and it's, it feels like a celebration. I feel very proud of like the group. I, I really, I would much rather just sit there and see one of them go up and, and if I go up there, I swear to you, I'm just going to say like, this is all of us. Good luck tonight. We hope you win and congratulations. BAFTA, go 
opposed to the Hurt Locker. Interesting. Captain Bigelow, Mark Ball, Lucas Tartu, and Greg Shapiro. Kristen Stewart. A prophet. Colin Firth. You should see your faces. This is your avatar. Are we ready to do this, boys? Wow. Carrie Mulligan. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. I'd like to thank uh, Nick Hornby for writing such a brilliant character. We've had a fantastic time at the BAFTAs. We chatted to some great people and hopefully we'll see you again next year. Yeah.